I'm JC at Motorcycle Superstore and I have a very burly motorcycle cover here made by Speedway Motorsports Shelters. Now this is in comparison to a standard bike cover which is one of those stretchy materials that you have to actually weasel around your entire motorcycle. It can be complicated, it takes a little bit of time, and if it's wet you have gotta deal with it, it's a pain in the butt. Something like this is much easier because it has a metal framework underneath that simply accordions out of the way. So let me demonstrate that. It doesn't get much easier. You access your bike, you roll it out, when you want to use it again you just simply put it back inside. Now obviously something like this is going to be great for outdoors. It could be used however indoors as well. If you want to put it in your shop or your garage it's going to help keep your bike protected from all those particulates that are in the air inside of there. Now let's talk a little bit about the construction. This is going to be made from a textile material that uses 700 millimeter polyurethane coatings. It's fully waterproof. The seams on the interior are all fully taped so you're not going to have any problem with water penetrating inside. Now let me talk a little bit about the sizing. This is important because it's the number one complaint from customers who order this from us. Now there's two sizes. There's the standard sport, that's what you see here. There's also the touring model. Now this is an NC700 from Honda. This is about as big as you're going to fit in the standard model. The specs, the actual dimensions are listed on the product page. My suggestion, if you have a bike that's this size or any larger than that, any type of a cruiser or sport touring bike, you're definitely going to want to spring for the bigger model. It's going to be wider, it's going to have room for saddlebags, so if you, even if you have a smaller bike that's heavily loaded with luggage, you might consider just springing for the bigger one. So, the framework is very easy to use. It's easy to put together. It uses color coordinated pieces so it snaps right together, spring loaded push pins and some wing nuts. It only takes one person about 30 minutes to bolt this thing up. Also, it's a lightweight type of a metal so it's very easy to utilize. However, overall weight's only about 55 pounds for this smaller size. What that's going to give you is it's going to give you actually a chance for this to blow away in heavy duty storms. So you're going to want to make sure that you tie it down. But it's made to do that. The framework on the inside actually has places to be staked down. Also, it has these tethers as well so you can run a tie down to a stake somewhere else. It also has grommets at the base. Another nice feature about this is that it has a built-in locking hardware that latches down. So once you fold this close, you throw a lock in there and now it's not going to be messed with by anybody who's not supposed to have access. Some other cool features on this, the roll up storm windows, if you want to get a little bit more light inside or if it's just a little bit of airflow, you roll these up, it all uses velcro. Everything that's attached on this uses very heavy duty velcro, that's the way that the material actually attaches to the framework and that stuff is really burly so it's not going anywhere anytime soon. Another real cool feature about this, you can see how the framework has these extensions or rather the fabric extends down over the framework. That's going to help keep things from getting up inside. Also, I forgot to mention one thing on the interior, it comes with its own LED light. So this hangs from the framework and it gives you that extra illumination when you're manipulating this in the dark. Check it out online, see if you're interested in it. It's a little bit of money and like we mentioned, the sizing is uber critical, so watch for that. But leave me some comments on this and don't forget to subscribe on YouTube for more product videos.